Hello lovely ladies! So here is the tutorial I have for you today. It's this look. It's kind of got turquoise and darker blues and purples in the outer V. Kind of winged out, kind of dramatic. I was kind of inspired kind of like by the ocean and ocean and sky kind of together so that's kind of where I went with this. And yeah if you want to see how to get this look just keep on watching. So after you've primed your eyes, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your jumbo pencil in black bean and you're going to place it all over the lid. Whoa, my phone's a vibrating over there. Place it right over onto the lid and it doesn't have to be perfect. And just take a finger. Pick a finger, any finger, and blend it out. And it does not have to be perfect. So once you've got your black bean thoroughly applied, we're going to take our Coastal Scents palette. Haven't whipped this baby out in a while. And you're going to take this turquoise here. This one in the middle. It's up from all these blues like well now you can't see it at all right up four from this one one two three four that turquoise we're just gonna take that turquoise and pat it right on top of that jumbo pencil and I'm using the black instead of the white jumbo pencil because it tones down the blue. The white makes it kind of pop out and be really bright. But the black underneath still makes the color stand out more, but it kind of brings out a deeper undertone to it. So it makes it a little bit more, it makes the color stand out still, but it, it turns it into more of a deeper color. So it's great for like nighttime evening looks. After that, we're gonna take this really bright blue here. Second up from the bottom and apply that to an angle brush. And you're just gonna take that and put that into the crease. And as you see, it's a very bright blue. taking that right into the crease kind of blending it out with that turquoise pick up more take that and form your outer V and we're gonna take this color here and sweep it upwards like this add a little extra drama just sweep it up like that and we're gonna take that and we're gonna pop, top pop. We're going to top it off with a little bit of this blue here. The second one up. It's kind of a indigo kind of color. And we're gonna put that right on top. And it's gonna kind of deepen out that bright blue a little bit. And again, I'm gonna kind of drag it upwards a little bit and wing it out. Like that. Next up, we're going to take a very small crease brush and we're gonna go with that really dark plum color on the very bottom. Just dab the brush in there and we're gonna just Add a little bit of definition in the outer V with that dark plum color. Just a little bit of definition. And to blend it out, as usual, I'm just going to go back with a little bit of that bright blue that we used in the crease. And just blend it up on top of this 
just to kind of make that gradation effect. Blend out those edges. And after that, if you want, if you feel like that turquoise, you want it to stand out a little bit more, you can go back with that shader brush again, a little bit more of that turquoise, and just pat it on the lid. Just making sure that you're blending it out with the other colors. After that, I'm gonna take my sponge tip applicator, and I'm gonna take this really light, kind of sky blue color here, right above that bright blue color that we used, three up from the bottom. Take that on the tip of the sponge tip and pop that in the inner corner for a highlight. Blend it out with the pinky. After that, I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the very top corner white, which I'm almost gone, look at that. Look how sparse that is. I'm almost out of it, but I'm going to, not that much, tap, 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 and I'm gonna pop that in as highlight. And it's gonna slightly overlap the blue, which is fine. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're just going to line your upper lash line with gel or liquid or whatever, float your boat. And you're just gonna take it and bring it out just a little bit. Just a baby wing. And take it all the way inside. After that, we're just going to line the bottom lash line with black pencil. And if, if you choose to do so, you can top that pencil off with a little bit of black eyeshadow so that it lasts longer. So we're all finished with the eyes. I went ahead and also applied some falsies along with some mascara. And go ahead and did my contouring and my blush and everything. So you do whatever you want, however you feel like the doing it. I used. It's pink, please. It's from the Maybelline Color Sensational line of lipsticks one of my new favorites and then I topped it off with the color sensational lip gloss the squeegee tube and this is cherry blossom it's a really light frosty pink I love it so pretty and so that's the lipstick and lip gloss that I used and here's the finished look I always feel really weird getting this close to the camera. I see you. <laughs> Anyways, that's everything. That's the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you try it out. And if you do try it out, you know, post some pictures. Let me see it. Post it as a video response. I'd love to see y'all's take on any of the looks that I've done. That would be uber exciting. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And I should be seeing y'all again with another video soon. So, catch you later. Fierce and love.